Hello everybody, my name's Calvin and welcome back to Space Engine. You guys left a lot of comments saying you wanted me to play this game again. And so today I'm gonna go through your guys' suggestions of places we should visit in the universe. If you'd like to leave a suggestion, just put it down in the comments below or join my Discord server and you can leave it on there. Our first suggestion comes from user TurtleX on my Discord server, which says, try planet J1407B, which is orbiting star J1407. This planet has the biggest rings in the universe. Okay, so you can see we're at Earth right now. Oh, the clouds are turned off, there we go. So we're just just gonna search J1407. So that's the star right here. So we're gonna go to the star. Whoa, you can see it just from the star. That's it in the background right there. That's crazy. So here's the actual planet. And if you just zoom out, you can see how big these rings are. Let's put it in photo mode so we can get a realistic lighting. So if we look at some of the properties of it, so you can see it was discovered in 2012. So this is a real planet and these rings are the actual size of the rings. So these are just the biggest rings we've ever discovered. You can see how thin they are too. And if you actually fly into them, you can see the rock particles. So if we fly up, okay, we're coming up on the rings. And there, look, all these particles are in it. Just like, you can just fly through the ring particles. The compression on YouTube is gonna destroy that. So if we were to like be on this planet, what would these rings look like? Like near the top of it, so you can get a good view of everything. They don't even look that big from the surface down here. But if you zoom out, you can see how big they really are. You can see how small the planet is compared to these rings. There's the planet. And then you can just keep zooming out and see the magnificent rings. It looks like a CD. All right, our next suggestion comes from Callum Matthews. Fly into Jupiter. Okay, we can definitely do that. So let's search Jupiter. All right, so here's Jupiter. Jupiter is just beautiful. You can see it's a giant red spot in great detail and all of the detail in its storms down here. So what if we just fly into it? So I'm just gonna try to fly into its great big red spot and see what happens. I don't think anything will happen. And yeah, nothing happens. So we're just like underneath its atmosphere now. Um, so I guess we're kind of on the surface of Jupiter. It, it is gas, so there's not really an actual surface. But that is Jupiter, um, and we can't really land on it. So that kind of sucks. All right, Petronage, I think, says Kepler-452b is the most Earth-like planet. Okay, I can find the star right here, so we're gonna have to go to the star first. So here's the star, Kepler-452, and if we check out its solar system browser, we can see there is a planet here, Kepler-452b. Um, and whoa, it looks like it's got some good oceans on it, and it has an atmosphere, because it's got some good clouds. If we turn off the clouds, let's see what the surface looks like. That's pretty good. Let's go down and see how these um, lakes look or oceans. They're kind of like oceans. This is a pretty big ocean. Let's go to this island right here. Is this like ice? I can't tell. I think it's sand. It looks like sand because of the, the ripples. So here it is. This is what the surface looks like. So this looks like a volcano. This is like Hawaii type stuff with an island out here. And it looks like it has a pretty big um, ocean mass and then this area is gonna be like desert so let's go look like in here yeah this is all sand so it's probably very warm out here it's unknown whether life's on this planet so it doesn't say there is but this is a possibility for life um and the terrain is cool i like these mountains with like the ridges in them um i wonder if it has any moons no it doesn't all right, so there's uh, Kepler-452b. We got a suggestion from Perek on my Discord, which says, visit a supermassive black hole. We can definitely do that. So at the center of every galaxy, there's a supermassive black hole. And at the center of the Milky Way, Milky Way central black hole, Sagittarius A. So let's go to that and see what it looks like. Here it is, supermassive black hole at the middle of our Milky Way. You can see it's got these giant um, light poles coming off it. And that's because it's spinning so fast. So here's the actual black hole and you can see it kind of warps. It warps space and the light around space. And let's fly into it and see what happens. Okay, so as we get closer, it starts to kind of take up the entire screen. I need to keep something visible, but as we get closer, we, we're still getting closer. Oh, flash of light, I guess we died. Oh, whoa, I don't know what's happening, but we're like in it. Okay, that's in it. So we we just went through it, which wouldn't happen. You would die. These stars at the center of the Milky Way are so bright. 
Like, look at these. These are all orbiting around the black hole? Yeah. So these are all orbital lines. Okay, so there's like a ton of stars that are in the black hole system. All of these. That's crazy, dude. And there's another supermassive black hole. So I actually got the mod for the interstellar um, system. So we can search Gargantua. And let's go check out that one. So if you've seen the movie Interstellar, you'll know that there's a giant black hole that you can see throughout the film. And here is the black hole. That looks insane. And if we unpause time and zoom it up, you can see um, the accretion disk moving around. And it looks like it's going over the top and bottom, but it's really not. See, if you look at the top, it's the way that the black hole bends the light. It makes it look like that. So let's get closer and try to get inside of this accretion disk. So if you're in the accretion disk looking at the black hole, this is what you would see. That's very terrifying. Um, you would burn to death at this point because all of this is super heated material. So getting really close, this is what it looks like. And if we go in it, oh, it turns blue when you start to go in it. And I don't know what's happening, but it, we went inside of it. All right, we got a suggestion from Tronus Edits. You should check out HD 100546B, the biggest planet ever found. All right, let's look it up. HD 100546B right here. Let's go to it. Whoa, look how it's like an oval because it's so big. That's really cool. The rings on it look amazing too. So you can see it was discovered in 2014 and this is the diameter. So here's the scale. Um, Jupiter compared to HD 100546B. So you can see how big it really is. And I just want to admire this planet. This is crazy. The colors on it are so beautiful. So look, you can see the scale between its star and the planet. You can see that the scale is just crazy. So let's see if it's got any moons. It doesn't. It probably does. They just haven't discovered any, so they don't include it on here. But this planet is crazy. This might be one of the coolest planets I've seen. And this isn't even procedurally generated. This is real. So actually, I want to see what the view is like from its star. So if you go to its star and then you look at the actual planet, if you zoom in, uh, if you zoom in, you can see it. There it is. That's crazy. Okay, now what I want to do is just look for life um, inside of the Milky Way. So wait, I just left the Milky Way. Okay, so here's our galaxy, the Milky Way. Um, and we're just gonna fly about here and just look for stars. Oh, there's a nebula. Um, let's look, let's just click on a star. How about you? And then if you click F2, you can check what's in the system. And that one doesn't have any. This one has a few things. So we're looking for green. Anything that shows up green has life on it. You can search for life, but I think this way is more fun because then it's like you found it instead of it told you where it is. Oh, OK. This gas giant right here, a frigid Jupiter, has a moon that has subglacial life. So that's not as exciting, but we will check it out. So this moon supposedly has life underneath ice on the surface. Um, I do like the way this looks. It looks pretty similar to our moon. Um, so I'm going to keep looking to find something better. Okay, this one's a binary system, and this one has life, it says, on one of its moons. Yeah, right here. Subglacial, we're gonna skip it. Oh, did I just pick one immediately after that one? Okay, temperate, arid, terra with life. So this moon of a gas giant has non-subglacial life. Look at that. Organic unicellular. So it's just simple, like, bacteria life, but... It is not subglacial, it is terrestrial, which means it lives on the land. Is this water down here? Whoa. Okay, well here's the surface. That looks like, I don't even know, it's like shiny. So it's got like a darker side and then lighter stuff too. So it looks like it doesn't have water, which probably shows why it doesn't have um, advanced life. But that is pretty cool. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Space Engine content, leave a like and leave your suggestions for things that we should do in this game down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.